Hey guys, Dark Recycle and FPV. I am working on a Hawk 5 here. Let me show you what I've got here. We're working on a Hawk 5 for a customer, and uh, I've run into this quite a bit lately, and I've had some people ask me about it, so I figured I just, just happens to be what happening right now on this one. Um, what happens when you get that rapid green light on a TBS uh, receiver, and you're trying to bind it, it's not, it's not necessarily going into that mode, right? So here's the deal. Here's what you're going to do. Um, find your bind button, okay? And what, we're, what I'm talking about, though, let me show you what I'm talking about first. What I'm talking about is this, this blinking green button that's just rapidly blinking green, right? And it's not exactly supposed to go that way, but sometimes they say that that's uh, a result of, I don't know, interrupting during the firmware update or some other things. I don't really necessarily think that's what happened here, but um, here's what we're going to do, all right? So we've got our radio. We're going to use this. Uh, this is the customer jump, or sorry, the radio master. So we've got that right here, all right? And what we're going to do is on this part, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go to our... Sorry, let me get out of this real quick. Okay. Uh, we're going to go to our menu screen here, and we're going to go to our, uh, we can go, I guess, to crossfire configuration. It's going to be searching, right? So we're going to go to our micro TX right here, hit enter, and then what we're going to do is we're going to tell it we want it to bind, okay? So while we're telling it to do that, here's the problem here, though. So we're going to tell it to bind, it's going to start looking. Now, we know that when we, I'm going to move this, try to move this out of the way so we can keep everything on camera here, but I want you to see this. So I'm going to hold this button in, Okay, and it's going to start blinking rapidly, right? And I'm going to wait two seconds. One, two. Then I'm going to let go of the bind button. Then I'm going to hold it again, and for not until it not slow blinking, right? Until it starts fast blinking. Now I'm going to let it go. Okay. So once it does that, now you see it fast blinking again, but it's about to stop. Watch. Now it's going to slow down. Right now it's basically loading. Here it goes. Now we should put us and there we go. Now we go into bind here. Okay. So we're going to enter to, to update it, and now it's going to update. So again, here's how you're going to do this. If you try to bind your uh, TBS receiver and you're having a hard time doing it, what you're going to want to do, <clears throat> yeah, you can see this is going. Uh, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to uh, hold, the, hold the bind button down and turn it on, and hold it down for like a two count. Okay. Once you turn it on, you see it blinking fast, hold it down for about a two count. One, two, let it go. Okay, and then what you're going to do, is you're going to give it another two count, one, two, with you not holding it down. Then you're going to hold it down again. And what's going to happen is it's going to go from that rapidly blinking to like a double blink, right? So it's going to blink, blink, blink like that, right? Two times. Keep holding it down while it's doing that until it starts rapidly blinking again. Once it starts rapidly, rapidly blinking again, let it go. And it's going to slowly, what it's going to do is it's, it's got a, the old firmware or basically the old configuration still on board. It's going to start writing that back so it can put it back into bind mode. And at that point, you can go ahead and put your radio in binding, or you could have your radio in binding like I did, and it'll automatically start binding it again. So again, remember, if you have this fast blink issue and you can't get it to work properly, hold the bind button down, turn the power on, two seconds like that, okay? Then let go for two seconds, then hold the bind button down again for two seconds, and you'll see that slow blink start, and hold it, keep holding it until you see it rapidly blink again, then let it go, and then you will see it start uh, uh, going back into bind mode. And you can have your radio, like I did with mine, the radio is in bind mode from the minute we started the process. There's no harm in doing that. And as you can see, it's loading the firmware. And in about, oh, I don't know, about another few seconds, we're going to see that we're bound and we're ready to go. So just watch this. And there we go. So our binding is okay. Now we can get out. Okay. Now we have our telemetry, and we're bound, and everything's working perfect. All right, guys, I hope that helps. Uh, something simple like that, right? Now, I've done three quads today like that, so I figured, you know what, I might as well do a video on this one. Uh, if you have any questions, guys, please uh, head over to our Cyclone FPV uh, groups uh, channel there on Facebook. And as always, please subscribe to our channel and let others know about it. It's the best you can do to help me. I really appreciate it. Other than that, God bless. Be safe. Have a great weekend, and go spend some time with your family, guys. You never know how much time you have left, so please make the most of it. You can always fly later. Talk to you soon. Bye.